I don't know what happened. I don't know. But all at once, I did realize, if I keep this up, I'm going to be dead in a very short time. Sydney resident and retired registered nurse Hendrika Vantry is back on track. I did put a call out for help. And I got in detox. And there I was introduced to Life Ring. Life Ring is a network of community-based supportive recovery groups for those struggling with addictions and substance misuse. Confidentiality is very important at Life Ring, so whatever goes on here doesn't leave this room. There are 16 communities across Vancouver Island that make these free meetings available. Hendrik has been attending since February of 2010 and is now enjoying a life of sobriety. She's been able to shake off her addiction to alcohol, turning inner pain into peaceful purpose. I become dependent on, on alcohol, actually. I medicated myself with alcohol. If I couldn't sleep, didn't matter what time it was, in the morning or in the night or mid-afternoon, I started drinking because it didn't matter. Born in Holland, Hendrika moved to Canada in 1982. And with her husband, she raised two daughters. She absolutely loved her new life here, but her marriage fell apart when her husband left to return to Holland. In 1995, with her girls all grown up and being laid off from her job in Edmonton, she relocated to Sydney with her new partner. She immediately found work as a registered nurse and things were going very well in her life until she developed arthritis. In such a way that I had to stop working. And from then on, everything went downhill. It was very sneaky because I would have a Mickey of, uh, of the vodka and have that Mickey hiding behind the pillows in the couch, and I would have sip on it all day long. Hendrika realized she had a huge problem and checked herself into detox. And that's when she heard about Life Ring. Michael Walsh has been clean and sober for over eight years. He's the man responsible for bringing Life Ring to Vancouver Island. I started the first group in Victoria January 30th, 2008. Life Ring is based in Oakland, California. And what I did was I communicated with them and let them know that I was in recovery and that I was looking to bring another option to the community of Victoria. He was sexually abused as a boy, turning to cocaine and alcohol through his teens and twenties. Into my thirties I was still drinking quite heavily and periodically using, using cocaine. And when I was 35 was when I decided that uh, my sister had reached out to me and said she invited me to come from Vancouver, Victoria and help me get involved in the the process of you know changing my life. And now Life Ring is helping to change many lives. 4,100 visitors came to the meetings here on the island in 2011. Having a community-based support group where people can go on a daily basis and actually talk with others that have been in similar circumstances is really important. And Hendrik has been doing so well with her new sober life. She now facilitates meetings, an opportunity to help others. I like the discussions. Um, I also like the support that will come from the group. So Life Ring as, a, as an option for other people, it's important to recognize that there's no one size fits all in the world of addiction recovery. So everyone needs to build their own personal recovery program. Where I'm at now is a total different life. I'm totally settled in my own little place. Uh, I'm strong, feel strong again. Thanks to a program that's thrown her a Life Ring, keeping her afloat for another chance. In Sydney, I'm James Green.